Welcome back, Sequoia. I hope you guys had a restful break. I'm Nadi. And I'm Mia. And, and we're, we're taking, taking over. over. reminders to take note of for this upcoming week. Send your yearbook photos by downloading the Herc Jones eShare app using the code CAVALRRAVENS2021. You can send photos in like you wearing your mask or in your Zoom classes. On Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. there's a sports booster meeting and on Wednesday from 7 30 to 8 30 p.m. there's a softball info meeting. We hope to see you there. Now on to Alyssa with the weather. Hey guys it's Alyssa. This week we can expect pretty sunny weather in the mid 60s. Back to Maddie and Mia in the studio. By the way, this week holds National Cupcake Day, so here's a montage of our baking skills. with tips and instructions on how to download your photos to the eShare app. Hi, I'm Rem and I'm going to be showing you how to download the Herf Jones eShare app. So what you're going to want to do is click on your app store on your mobile device. Next, type in Herf, H-E-R-F-F, -F, and it should pop up. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and click download on the app and I'll show you the next step once it's downloaded. Now I'm gonna show you how to download pictures onto the app. So first you're gonna to wanna to click on the app uh, and then enter in our school code, which is Ravens2021. After that, go ahead and click on Sequoia High School. It should pop up. And then it's gonna ask you to enter in a bunch of information. After you type in all of your information, I have Maddie's here as an example, you wanna click, I agree to the terms and conditions. Next, press select images for upload. After that, um, you can either click camera if you're gonna take a picture right now or photos if you already have one. I'm gonna click camera for the demonstration. So I can go ahead and take a picture of the people filming me, just like this. And then I go ahead and say the grades of the students in the photo, which is 11 and 12. Uh, and then students shown in picture, I list their names uh, and then I can give a description as well. And then I click upload and then I'm done. And that's it. Now on to an interview with Conrail from the Investment Club. All right, we're rolling. What's up, everybody? Um, let's, if you don't mind, uh, give a quick introduction about your guys' self and possibly what your involvement is with the club. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go first. I'm Con Morrell. And uh, I'm one of the four presidents of the investment club. All right. Uh, what's up, everyone? My name is Oliver Montclair. I'm a senior, and I also I'm one of the presidents. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kwok. I'm also one of the presidents, and I'm also a senior. And I'd say that I'm actually pretty new at investing, and Khan's my teacher. He's in, he teaches the whole club, including me. <laughs> And then uh, I'm Owen, the interviewer, but I'm also a uh, participant in this club. So me and John are in the same boat, although I'm not a president, you know, I'm making my way up there. Um, so uh, what do you guys feel like the purpose of your guys' club is? Uh, we basically just like talk finance, talk investing, talk business and try to uh, try to make it so that our our class and everybody else at Sequoia kind of has an idea about what's going on, and what the stock market is, or maybe at a Christmas dinner, they can participate in conversations about investing with their grandparents or something. Boom. Yeah, I agree. I think we're not like a class, you know, we don't like teach every day. That's just boring. That's not what we want to be. We just kind of just talk about things. 
that relate to like investing in the stock market. Mm-hmm. So that helps like just build experience and just like some knowledge of. Um, and make people more comfortable with uh, investing and what it is really. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Um, and so like, if you don't mind, I'll give me like a brief intro of how like you three started getting into invest investing or like what sparked, you know, this kind of bigger idea to get into this. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that. So um, a couple years back, I think my brother was the president of the investment club. And then uh, he graduated. And then like, last year, there was no investment club. And I kind of had to like do something with the club because I don't know, my parents are kind of forcing me to. So um, I started the investment club again with um, Jonathan and Alex. Um, Alex, I guess he's injured right now. So I guess he can't make it. Um, But we realized that we don't, we don't really, uh, we don't really have much investment knowledge. So that's when we recruited uh, the big con. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I have. I got interested in money and stuff like that when I was super young. And my, uh, my dad told me that if I buy baseball, cold, baseball cards and hold them for a while, I can sell them for a lot of money. So then that was my first form of investment. And then I've been in like the stock market or so for like five, maybe six years now. Yeah, I'd say that con was our uh, best investment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Con, did you ever consider getting yourself into the Pokemon card market? Yeah, I have Pokemon cards. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm already in that market. Word. Okay. Um, and then it's kind of segueing into the next question. So, like, do you guys think that it's important for uh, high schoolers to learn this? Just learn, kind of get, like, the basics of investing? Or you, where would you place that in order of, like... Absolutely. Um, I think it's really important because investing is kind of one of those things like it's hard to get a class on it so and it's also really important especially if you want to preserve or grow your wealth even Um, and even getting started at a young age is really important because even if you start now and lose a lot of money you're gaining that knowledge so that you're losing a hundred dollars instead of your life savings when you're 30 exactly just get that head start it's really important Yeah, I think um, even if you don't want to, you know, major in business or go into that field, I think it's still important to know about it because I know like just so many like friends or just family members who just who have no interest in business, but they still invest and they still make money. So like you don't need to be an expert in like business management and all that in order to be good at this and you can just make money off of this. Uh, and just like if anybody watching here, you know, besides obviously joining the investment club, where would you, you know, give them some pointers or tips to possibly start? Like, you know, like what, uh, is there a YouTube video that you're like, holy moly, this is the best thing ever? Or is there like a website, anything? Yeah, um, not necessarily like one spot or one person, but there's just a ton of uh, a ton of different places where people can learn. And uh, you can actually learn a lot by following some meme pages on Instagram as well. Uh, that's, a, that's a quick tip. I'd like to add that uh, joining the investment club is also a, a great way to learn. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Especially coming from me. Like, I, I knew absolutely nothing about anything regarding investing or the stock market. And after one meeting, I already felt like 100 times smarter. Then I, of course, watched uh, the big short over – um uh ski week so i felt you know like i'm a genius now so good good uh and then just kind of building off the last question for the people that are now thinking about possibly joining what do you what would you describe the average meeting looking like you know in the club like in the bet in in the best way possible you know butter me up all right <laughs> so basically we have this investment uh tournament thing and we started out by just recapping who got the most, who lost the most. Uh, Recently, I've been losing the most. Um, uh, Yeah, start off with recapping the investment tournament, and then we'll just either talk about some business things that have happened, or I might have a PowerPoint to teach people about certain things investment-related, and then we just 
kind of piggyback and run the rest of the club off of people asking questions and people's curiosity. So if you're curious about learning how investing works or anything like that, then the investment club would be the perfect place for you just to talk finance. Yeah. On a, I guess a, another note, in investing, you can either lose money or you make money. And as us responsible seniors and Sequoia Ravens, we will teach you or enlighten you how to make money. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. It's important to note that there is always a winner and a loser. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, do you guys have anything else you guys want to chip in or you know, bring up or say to any of the young impressionable viewers that are watching and thinking about joining? Um, if you think about joining, uh, email me. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's our Instagram again? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll drop an at. We'll drop an at down there. Yeah. <laughs> um, email me. 799187 at seq.org. Word. All right. But that about wraps it up. I'd like to thank you, gentlemen, for participating, conducting this awesome interview, and getting the word out about this great club. Yeah. Hey, let's go, Sequoia. Yeah. Go Ravens. Go Ravens. And now on to Alyssa with study tips. Hey, guys. It's Alyssa. Here's five study tips tips to help you be successful in school. Number one, use Quizlet or flashcards. Number two, make sure to take breaks. Number three, study in a quiet, quiet environment where you can stay focused. Number four, do Zoom study groups with your friends. And lastly, listen to classical music. Back to the studio. And that's all. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, stay, stay classy, classy Sequoia. Sequoia.